Hi Taurus, welcome to your January 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your psychic medium, here to give you all the messages for the month. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. We're going to look at love, career, finance, family, health, friends, whatever messages come through, I will relate to you. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to be applicable in your life. And only take what is and let go of the rest. A really good idea is to come back later on in a week or two weeks and look at the video again. I like to do it in the beginning and the end of the month to see how it actually resonated in my life. Now, sometimes it can come in a little bit early and other times it may be a little bit slow. At the end of the reading, I will pull from the financing career and the romance angel cards as well. So we're starting off your reading with the Five of Cups. This is feeling sorrow. This is feeling sadness, a loss that you may have experienced. For some of you, this is a romantic loss where you... They're showing me that you went through a lot with this person on a romantic level. The Nine of Wands is feeling worn out. Like you're, you're really good at doing this as far as building and rebuilding and fixing relationships. It's like you're really good at it. Whatever transpired wore you out. Some of you, you could very well have been dealing with a uh, spiritual connection type of a relationship. A lot of healing has taken place in you. Um, you're resting. You need to rest right now. And that's what this is all about over the next couple days. I see you resting and regrouping, getting re-energized to get back out there. You're just worn out. You've been through a lot. This was a lot of inner growth, a lot of healing. Some of you, this was about a job loss where um, they're showing me that you were let go right before the holidays. So this is very difficult for you. And over the past uh, three to four weeks, three dash four, three to four weeks, it could be months for some of you, but I'm seeing it as weeks. It's been very difficult for you. The whole holiday experience, all of this has been hard in your career and financial sector. You have a brand new opportunity coming in. This is the Knight of Swords. This is you getting on your horse going, yeah, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and feel sorry for me. I'm gonna take action. I'm gonna jump out there and I'm gonna get it. Using the internet as a main resource for you to find this new job. Posting your resume, applying for any and every opportunity. The last three, four weeks, it would have been very challenging for most of us to get a job because companies don't hire during this time of year. For the most part, they don't. They wait until about the second week of January. So that's when I'm seeing this coming, rolling around, this new opportunity. And it's gonna bring balance back into you, back into your life. It's gonna put your finances in balance. But this is actually quite lovely. Some of you have gone through a divorce or you're getting ready. You've been through so much with this person. It's been very difficult for you. You do have enough in you to keep going, but you need to rest. You need to take a, a load off of you. You need to take a break, okay, and allow the courts to do what they need to do. But this is all about going through such turmoil in your family home life. Going through the divorce and the justice card is about the judge making the final decision and it relates to your family and the root of your foundation in your current life in every possible way. The advice for this, the universe is saying, let go, let God, they are going to help you through this. They are. For some of you, you're going to meet a brand new person as this uh, goes forward. I'm seeing a group of you where you've already healed everything. You've, you've spoken your piece, you've shared how you feel, you've done everything you can, and you know it's done. For another group, and, and it's gonna be, you're gonna be ready to actually move forward. 
For another group of you, this is the person who's gonna come down the road. I see them popping in, you're gonna meet them, and then they will re-come back around May, between March and May. You'll see them again, and then you'll be in a place where you're actually ready to start dating. So it's gonna be very lovely energy for you. Yeah, a lot of healing, a lot of growth within you. I like this, this is a beautiful card. Not only is it about healing and growth, it's also all about your inner foundation being rebuilt, allowing your inner child to come out, where you can see the world in a very different angle, and that's what's coming for you. Beautiful energy coming in. Whatever was hidden is gonna to come to light. Through this divorce, it's gonna to come to light. Whatever was hidden in the job sequence, that is also gonna to come to light. We have the Ace of Swords starting a new beginning in truth. So the truth is gonna come through and the divorce is gonna come through. But this is definitely, it's almost like it's overdue. And some of you are very well aware of that. And we have the star card, so healing. You're gonna heal beautifully. You're gonna grow, you're gonna see why all this took place for you, not against you. And the dream that you've always wanted is gonna come through at the end. For some of you, this is about relocating. This is about you moving forward in a beautiful, beautiful way in your life and actually physically moving. For some of you, it's actually you holding on too tight throughout your life. You may be a little bit too reserved with your finances. And when I say that, I actually lived it, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't wanna spend that money. If I spend that money and something happens, then I won't have it. So here we hold on too tight, the Four of Pentacles. We hold on too tight, and that limits what the universe can give us because there's nothing there to allow the opening to allow the new in. So make sure you're not holding on too tight to situations of the past, to financial situations, as well as love itself. For some of you, this is a person from the past returning. I know we don't always like to hear this. This particular person is somebody that you actually want to be with, though. You really, you may dream about them. You may see them in your day state. You may see their name everywhere you turn. Bam, there's their name. Bam, there's their name. It's like, oh my God, wait, 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 does everybody have the same name, right? This is going to be very, very lovely. This person is coming back to speak the truth. Now for some of them, they are actually want to move forward with you. They want a relationship. There was a sense of fear. They were holding back, not because they were hiding secrets. They were finalizing a divorce. They were coming out of a relationship, but you were aware of that. This is actually them opening up in a different way where now they're ready. They weren't ready. They were a, a scared. <laughs> they were a scared. They were afraid to open up. They were afraid to move forward into it. They love you. Absolutely. You're what they dreamed of because of all the hardship that they went through in other relationships. They couldn't express that they, they it, their throat chakra was closed. And the reason I'm saying that, my throat hurts right now while I'm picking up this energy. They couldn't express, they couldn't tell you the truth. But what's gonna happen in the month of January is oh, illumination is coming through and so is the truth. So you're gonna see this person, but it's gonna be very different. It's gonna be beautiful. It is, they're a very different individual than they were. Yeah, you, you, you probably got really worn out dealing with them, but this is all about putting everything back into balance and then making a decision if you want to move forward with them or not. Some of them, they do wanna move forward with you and they actually are gonna ask to live with you to get married. Um, it can turn into an engagement of some kind. A higher level of commitment, let's put it that way. Higher level of commitment is coming through in this month. For another group of you, they're showing me that you actually 
have a new job opportunity coming, but it's at a distance where I see you having to relocate your family for this opportunity. This may be in the judicial system. You may be a government official or dealing your partner is legal in the law. You could be in any avenue of the law. This opportunity coming in is a very authoritative position coming in, very high paying job. It was destined for you. And the universe has, and you may have lost your job just before you get this, but there's some downtime in between the end of that and the new beginning of this other job coming in. This is about you being able to rest your body to really get all your mental faculties back because I see that you worked so, so hard. There were days you could barely stand up. You were so exhausted. Take this time and reflect on you. Rest your body. Try not to think and just get the energy. Get back out in the sun. The sun will re-energize you. Even, you know, I live in Denver. It's snowing right now. So even today, there was a period of about 30 to 40 minutes where the sun came out. Step outside. Even if it's snowing, get that sun back on you. It will help rejuvenate your energy again. This is going to be very, very beautiful. And this may be the dream job that you've always waited for. You see, when we have an ending, it always leads us to a new beginning. And the new beginning is usually much better than what we left. If we learned the lesson, you learned the lesson you learned your value now. You understand I am worth all of it. This is what you dreamed of. You're ready for it. Your family's ready for it. Everybody is. And God is saying, let go and trust in me because it's going to be beautiful. So I hope that this, I, uh, this is a beautiful message. It truly, truly is. For some of you, you are dealing with... Let's see, we're looking at the signs of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini for sure, Aquarius for sure, Libra for sure. You're definitely dealing with a lot of air signs, Virgo. Yeah, you've got Virgo, I mean, you've got all the air signs, and you also have wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So those are the energies in this reading. And right now I'm going to pull your finance career card for the month. Thank you to all of you who subscribe to my channel and donate to my channel. I love doing this for you. And I know I say it all the time because I really mean it. If you are new to my channel, uh, you can uh, subscribe if you like me, you like my style. And if you click the bell, it will notify you when I upload any new videos or when I'm going to do a live segment. Your worth is the card for you. It is one thing to want money. Everybody wants more, but it's something entirely different to be worth more. Does that not coincide with this reading? That's exactly what I just said. You now know your value. And because you know your value, you're going to be blessed with some incredibly beautiful opportunities in career and love. So that it couldn't be a better card. I'm going to pull your romance card for the month. And if you haven't noticed, I am not accepting personal readings. I will be, but not right now. I will uh, announce it publicly when they're open. If you go to my site, there's nothing to click on. <laughs> I mean, the, it lists what I offer, but I'm changing everything. So we have to give me a little time to fix and repair. So the romance card that came out for you for the month is Heart to Heart Conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with another person. So this is what I'm talking about. Truth is coming out. And it's going to put the scales back into balance. For some of you, you won't want to 
uh, stay with the person that you're with and you won't want to uh, start a new beginning with a person in the past. But this truthful communication is really gonna open you up. It's gonna make you not hold on too tight. So allow this communication to come through and speak your truth. That's what's going to steer you forward successfully. I do wish each and every one of you to have a wonderful holiday celebration and much love.